So we're cooking up some injera here and some, some tips, tips. And I was like, baby, let's throw some bacon in there. You know, maybe that little bacon might be like so good. But ever since Chia got like, uh, you know, we're like week five pregnancy now. And I made some bacon for breakfast the other day. The smells are yeah. starting to hit me. Yeah, certain I smells. I didn't know until you started cooking the bacon. And I'm like... Okay, that's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. And I was making oatmeal the same time you were making your bacon for breakfast. Yeah. And my stomach was so upset, I couldn't even eat my oatmeal. I looked at my oatmeal, I was like, oh. Ugh, oh man. And I bought this really good, like, fatty bacon too. It's so good, but I, I can't, I can't, I gotta throw it away. Yeah. But I will have this in front of her though. A little bit of wine. Whatever. I don't need it. Don't need it really drink alcohol anyway right so cutting out alcohol for me during pregnancy is like whatever right right um and another reason that we're making this in jera mm -hmm. is because i'm very constipated ah so that's something that i never really knew that happens in pregnancy mm -hmm. you get constipated i guess because like all your hormones like slow down your digestive tract and your shit is literally just sitting in your stomach so when we went to the doctor yeah they saw and there was all that shit, yeah, mm -hmm. so she gave me, uh, our doctor gave us a, a laxative to take, which I've been taking. Yeah. But she's like, up your fiber, and lentils. Lentils. It's high in fiber. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to get my shit out. Here's what's crazy is, so her dad calls lentils lentis, and we always thought it was just like a funny thing that like her dad does. And then one day we were watching the Food Network, and um, there was an Eritrean dude, he was either Eritrean or Ethiopian, uh, with with like uh, a food spot and he also called his lentils lentis so yo have a shot people tell me do all your parents and old people say lentis instead of lentils i never i never really noticed that i think just because i was around it for so long yeah hmm hmm what's lentis <laughs> lentis i don't even know what that means i'm still working for freaking not even three bucks an hour mm -hmm. four bucks an hour and i bring one more mouth to feed that's why. We're just gonna keep going back and forth on this. <laughs> back and forth. No, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm past the, the pressuring you guys <laughs> already. Yeah. No, you're not. I know it's not gonna work. <laughs> just, I told you, lose 30 pounds, we'll get pregnant right now. <laughs> no, listen. Why would you, Mike? My grandkids, the twin, should be able to enjoy my belly, my big belly. Grandpa, grandpa, <laughs> see? Nobody like a skinny grandpa. Yeah, that's true. See? Right. <laughs> so, how far along are we now, babe? Uh, we are five weeks and six days. It is July 1st, Canada Day. Wow, it's happy Canada happy Day. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> so, it's almost six weeks. Careful with your flowers. It's almost six weeks, and... um. Chia hasn't been feeling great. Yeah, all of week five, I have been feeling like shit because of my shit. Because mm. <laughs> I've been so constipated. Mm. I'm on two different laxatives just to try to get everything moving. And yeah, it's been a really bad week. I have no appetite. Mm. Apparently, uh, pregnant constipation is like a common thing. So she's just having really like painful cramps and she's trying to get her shit out. So I'm like, first of all, can I like, can I just say shout out to all the fucking single moms in the world? Cause like, so since Chia has kind of been out of commission, cause she's just so uncomfortable and so in pain. I've been doing like everything around the. It's not gonna spill. Like, there's there's so much like that I can. So anyways, <laughs> it's, I've been doing everything else around the house in terms of like cooking and cleaning and kind of yes. keeping everything together. And not gonna lie, I'm tired. <laughs> like, I'm tired. I'm like barely doing laundry. I'm not doing the dishes. I leave shit everywhere. Right. I, I don't even refill the freaking empty toilet paper. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. And that's not her at all. No. You know, usually she keeps everything like in working, organized order. But like, this is the first time I look around the house and I'm like, oh, this is. I'm going to pick some shit up because it's looking a little disheveled. I just, like, don't have energy whatsoever. Yeah. I, like, I wash my hair and I'm like, oh, now what? <laughs> I just put in these things and, yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been not a great week. I just want to make, you know, I just want to make it easier for you in any way that I can. 
And you're uh, doing so good. You even look at the dinner that you made. I, I made flauta. Shout out oh, to HelloFresh, yes. even though they're not paying us. But, you know, yeah. um, and I've so I've been totally been like, yo, um, shout out to the single mom. Shout out to parents. Because, uh, shout out to housewives. Because uh, <laughs> it's a lot of shit. Shout out to all the moms uh, that do all the housework and cook and clean and shit. Because it's a lot of work. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, excited to eat this because I haven't eaten more than, like, a few cheese slices and crackers, honestly. Mm -mm. And broth. Baby, you got to feed our little baby in there. Force that shit, man. <laughs> and puke everywhere? <laughs> all right, so we're going we're gonna to have a nice little night, put on our show, and relax. Thank you. <laughs> so this is Chia going through a uh, very painful cramp. I don't know if it's a like if it's, oh, it's from like poo or something. Mm. Uh, I just don't like it. Don't like it. Yeah. So she's been having these kind of little painful, crampy. <laughs> not sure if it's constipation. Not sure if it's like cramps. Um, for major like majority of the of the of the weeks. So, you are officially seven weeks pregnant. Today, officially seven weeks pregnant. Yeah. And, uh, damn, in a week after we go see Brie, you're going to be officially two months pregnant. Technically, yeah. Wow. Which, I feel like time is going by really fast. Yeah. But when you're in it, it feels like it's going by really slow. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, week five, which was the week I absolutely dreaded. I was having the worst, like, just tummy pains. Mm -hmm. I was like, this, this time is just like, oh, let it be over. Mm -hmm. But now that we're week seven, and I think back to week five, I was like, oh, that was so long ago. It's like. Yeah, you're getting through it. Damn, you're already two months deep. You only got seven months to go, baby. And then this, this little baby's going to come skipping out of you. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, I feel really good. Mm -hmm. I took a shower, and I ate, and I feel good. I just want to feel good all day. Yeah, I got you. So when is that coming? Baby, week seven is the week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Baby... I've never seen that before. <laughs> that was like a horror movie. You know, like those movies or like those alien things are like, blah, 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 and then like the little antennas go everywhere. Yeah. We just watched this video of this lady uh, getting her epidural removed. And I I didn't know that the epidural stays in there. Because it has to still like be able to give you drugs. But the epidural is not just one needle, you're done. I thought it was one needle, you're done. No. Mm -mm. it's like it's like it has to stay in you because it keeps holy shit pumping drugs i i'm i'm pretty sure this whole time i thought it was poking your back and then you're good mm -mm, so when i saw this when i clicked on that video that said getting her epidural removed and i fucking there's like a, i was like why is there a band-aid why is it attached oh, to her it's a catheter then, before you are transferred to your postpartum room, they will take out the catheter. So much tape. The tape, they tape you super well so that the floppy tube catheter doesn't move around and gets uncomfortable. So the needle comes out, but then they replace it with the catheter and then the drugs go through the catheter. Oh. <laughs> Yeesh. Wow, that's so crazy. Yeesh. <laughs> In other news, what's the date? August um July. July twelfth. July twelfth, we are like week seven. Don't look at my can you see how gross my eyebrows are? No, baby, your eyebrows look good. <laughs> okay, I have to tweeze them. Anyways, we are like week seven, like three days, and I feel like week seven has been the best week that's good week four five and six were horrid <laughs> not horrid because i'm sure it could be worse but they weren't enjoyable i was super uncomfortable i had all my pains i mean you guys saw the footage mm -hmm. 
um, in the videos and stuff. So week seven, I've been feeling much better. That's good. Much better. And this week we have our ultrasound. And what's annoying is she's fucking like she's brainwashed me these past two years that we've been living together. Like I could easily, right, live. Well, before I could live in a mess. But now that you've brainwashed me these two years and you haven't had the energy to clean shit or like pick things up, I am like, you know, cooking and cleaning, but I'll see shit that messy. And I'm like, oh, I got to do laundry too. <laughs> so I'm like, I see the laundry piling up and I'm like, ah, oh, I, I got to do laundry. Because before when I was living alone, I thought like I didn't care. I did the laundry pile up for literally like a month, you know? But you would also, if your room got a little bit messy, like you would tidy up. Yeah. So. But you, you Jedi mind tricked me into like now, you know, I'm um, making sure shit's tidy to your standard because it's what I've been conditioned to live in because you've been keeping the house so clean. So now I'm like, I see the fucking kitchen looking messy. I'm like, ugh, I can't go to sleep until I clean this shit up. <laughs> Welcome. Ugh. it's so nice because then you can wake up and it's just like clean you can enjoy your coffee i don't drink coffee you can enjoy your jalapeno lime <laughs> lemonade and your leftover in and out burger mm. you mean your leftover in and out burger and i've been eating all her leftovers it's so funny because you look naked right now like that. <laughs> <laughs> You look naked. Do you have panties on? I do have panties on. Show us. <laughs> it just looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. So, yeah, I've been trying to, you know, just keep things in order. And that all that's on top of still putting out the podcast, still putting out content. And still working, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, like, when Tim shoots Send Foods, because he shoots Send Foods at the house... Um, and in the earlier weeks when I really just wasn't feeling well, I just like locked myself upstairs and I would like text him in between like the shots and be like, I need some juice. I need soup. I need this. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. We just like told everyone that I had a migraine, wasn't feeling well, blah, blah, blah. But, um, now I'm like, I'll pop down and say hi. So people don't think I'm yeah luckily Sick people every week yeah luckily people haven't been paying too much attention because we've been like you've been on your period your period for three weeks now <laughs> yeah david came over what was it the last time you guys shot yeah and i was like i was like oh i have my period it's so bad <laughs> blah 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 but one time you made this joke it totally caught me off guard this was like shortly after we found out we were we were pregnant mm. and david said something like yeah blah 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 because you're pregnant and i'm like <laughs> well you know it's crazy the thing is like people always make that joke but now that you're pregnant for real it's like you notice it you yeah, know what i'm saying and it's true and it's the struggle of trying to not make a face because mm -hmm. even when we, i was doing the podcast with benji and rick and then benji was like what's up with y'all when you trying to and i was like mm, you know just i don't know man we're, not, we're just you know and I, like i knew rick was looking at my face to see if i was making a face so i asked rick i was like yo was i able to how was my face? He was like, good, good. You didn't, you weren't obvious at all. I was like, okay, thank oh, God. Oh, man. And the hardest has been like keeping it from Tim's parents because, you know, we go over there once a week and mm -hmm. I haven't been just because I've been so uncomfortable. But we have our, what was that? That was a weird sound. We have our ultrasound this week and when everything is confirmed good and healthy by our doctor we can finally tell your parents we're going to be telling tim's our parents this week finally finally go over there and i don't have to hide all of my discomfort mm -hmm. and if i don't want to sit at the table i'm just gonna go and sleep upstairs <laughs> which i couldn't do before because yeah. that would be weird right but now i can just be like mm, i don't want it <laughs> well hey babe you're doing great Thanks, babe. You're doing great. Proud of you. And proud of, I'm proud of us. Yes, and I'm proud of our little uh, urethra, mm. urethra Franklin. You're funny. <laughs> the royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.